Hey YouTubers, Redneck Brian here. I'm out here with the Honda 3813. Um, sadly, it's taking a turn for the worse. The head gasket is now completely gone. Um, it can no, it can no longer run for not even, not even 10 minutes without it, without it blowing the uh, steam out the exhaust. The exhaust, the head gasket's gone, the exhaust gasket's gone, and the muffler has a hole in it at some point. Some, or sorry, somewhere. So in the next couple days, this motor is coming out. Uh, I'm just going to take the motor out for the winter, and hopefully I'll have some money sometime this winter, and I'll put I'm going to put a head gasket on it. I'm going to put a head gasket. I'm going to do a timing timing belt. I'm going to check the water pump. So I checked on the internet. Water pumps on these are worth 115 some change. I believe that's what it was. I can't remember off fully off hand. So I'm going to inspect the water pump, see if it's working. Before I pull the motor out, I'm going to do that. So hopefully I don't have to put a water pump in it. But I'm going to send the head away to my uh, mechanic that I deal with for parts and we'll get him to rebuild the head like uh, if it needs seats put new seats in there uh, latch lap the valves all that lovely stuff so let's just quickly open up the rad this is cold I haven't ran it for a little while that's how much the water's gone down I don't know if you can see that or not it's down quite a bit and it was I filled it up today I just filled it up earlier when I was using this I had to haul some tires with this. Uh, so yeah, it, it's it's going down a lot, really, really quick. And it's blowing white, white steam, smoke, whatever you want to call it, out of the muffler, the gas, the, the header gasket, and out of the head. So I'm gonna fire it up here, see if it starts. It should start. I got it up on blocks. My back tires are still no, no good. Full choke. not doing it now because it's really really cold I didn't have time to do a video earlier when the motor was hot but just by the sounds of it it's sounding a lot louder than it originally was so what I imagine what it was wrong is there's probably some rust on the exhaust and then the first time I started up it just got hot and it uh, opened up a hole but I checked the oil doesn't seem like there's water in the oil, which is a good sign. Hopefully the rings are not pooched. Hopefully it's just the head gasket. Hopefully the head's not cracked. That would be a pain in the ass if the head was cracked. Uh, so my plan is I'm going to unhook the wires. It's actually it's not really a hard engine to get out. It's heavy. I've, I've been told these are quite heavy. So all I'm going to do is, I'm going to unhook the, uh, the negative off the battery. The battery can stay in as far as I know. Unhook the hot right here. Hopefully you can see this okay. To the starter. There's a wiring harness right here. There's my new starter. Uh, there's a couple other small connections that will have to be removed. Uh, I got to take the rad hoses off and then the throttle linkage and then it's just four bolts holding this engine in then when I do take it off I am going to leave the uh, belt off for the mower so I don't use it so no point putting it on and the rad will probably have to come out
so stay tuned for that video in a few days as you can see I don't know if I showed this in a previous video my parking brake indicator is working so, but it sticks parking brakes off but it is working properly now finally and I have not filled this thing up since I bought it I drained the tank when I first got it I used the fuel pump to drain it and then I have not filled it up since if you can see that it's showing on empty but I haven't, I haven't filled it up yet. It still has enough gas sloshing around the bottom. So. so, anyways, I cannot afford to get the parts right away. The parts, I'm not, I'm not getting the water pump. But all the other parts are going to cost right around 175 bucks plus. With that's with shipping, timing belt, and the gaskets. So. Stay tuned for that. I will videotape pulling this out, parts of it. So, talk to you guys later. Keep it redneck, and hopefully this video comes through all right. If not, I'll redo it tomorrow. It's quite chilly out here. Keep it redneck, please, and please subscribe and comment. Bye for now.